today we are cooking fried rice so thank you so much for clicking on this video uh today for the fried rice we need cooked rice we need some sausage we also need some carrot green pepper spring onions on normal onions red onions and chili for those who eat it we also have salt and we are going to use some peas i have already boiled them they are, they are already boiled but you can ch also choose to use other kind of vegetables that you have around you like green peas i mean green beans <laughs> uh, so for the rice we are going to use some onions garlic and ginger some chicken bouillon but you can use maggi and we are going to use some curry powder to change the color of our rice and the flavor so to start we are going to prepare our rice me i will cook this rice the night before but if you don't have time you, you can just cook it on the very same day so in a pot i put just a little bit of cooking oil and some onions i'm going to cook it for a minute then we add our garlic and ginger just a little bit of ginger and some garlic and after cooking for a minute we are now adding our curry powder if you choose to cook your rice a night before you can let it um you can put it in the fridge for overnight after cooking it so now i'm adding my rice i have already washed my rice before and if you have long grain rice you can use it for mine you can see that it's short grain rice which i don't like because it becomes mushy so after adding my rice i found out that my curry powder is not enough so i added some more because i want my rice to change the color We are going to toast this rice for some for like five minutes on medium heat. After toasting our rice for like five minutes, see how our rice is looking like it's already separating itself. But now if you are using wrong grain rice, it's going to be so 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 good. Your rice is going to come out looking so good. So I'm going to use the rice cooker to cook my rice, but you can still use the normal pot to cook my rice. So I'm adding water because and some salt and some maggi or chicken bouillon. And because my rice is the short grain rice and I don't want it to be mushy. So what I did, I used less water than I normally do. So um, for the sausage, I'm going to let them fry in this oil. You don't have to wait for your oil to be hot. For you to add your sausage just after putting your oil in the pot add your sausage and keep turning them until the whole sausage has changed the color you can also use another kind of protein that you want you can either use chicken or beef or anything that you really like and if you don't eat meat you can also uh, just leave it you don't have to add it the vegetables are going to be delicious by themselves so now uh, after frying our sausage i'm now cooking the carrots i've added just a little bit of cooking oil in the pot and some carrots i'm going to cook our carrots for just a few minutes until they're a little bit soft because you don't want to make your carrot too soft they don't really taste delicious when they're too soft so after some few minutes i added my chili my green pepper and my onions in the pot along with the carrots and i also added just a little bit of salt because we already have salt in the uh in the our rice our boiled rice so now when your carrots and onions are soft to your desired level we are now going to add our green peas they are already boiled and i added salt when i was when i was boiling i'm going to fry them for like three minutes I will be covering and covering and stir a little bit for three minutes. After cooking for three minutes, I'm now now going to add my cooked rice i'm going to add it in batches because it's a lot 
to make sure that the whole rice is going to be mixed with our vegetables. We are going to keep on frying our rice and making sure not to um, mix it in a way that can make it become mushy. As you can see how I'm doing it, I'm very careful because my rice is already uh, a mushy rice type. Uh, so you can see how I'm doing it. I'm going to do it for like 3 minutes on medium heat. After three minutes, I'm now adding my sausage, or you can add chicken if you have uh, decided to eat chicken or other kind of meat. But make sure that you have cooked it already before adding it in, in your rice, in your fried rice. And uh, now, as you can see, our fried rice is looking good, it's looking so yummy, yummy. Uh, this was so good, so just make sure to cook it. After like two minutes, of, um, I'm now adding our spring onions. We are going to stir for just like a minute and our rice will be done. That's how you cook fried rice. You don't need soy sauce. You don't need anything else. This is affordable and it's so, so, so delicious. When I get time, I'll cook this again. And trust me, it doesn't take a long time to cook. If you have cooked your rice the day before or the night before, it's going to be more and more easy. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to join the family so you can watch and cook this delicious food together. Thank you. See you next time.